Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, The Good Tonight, and today we're answering the uh, old question from the early 2000s on to, you, you know, whatever. I, still modern day, I guess. What would you do in the event of a zombino apocalypse? So you're walking down the street, you're hanging out in your cool jacket because it's relatively cooled out, unlike the filming of this video, which is very hot, but for the sake of argument, it's cooled out. You got your old school grandpa's mag light and uh, oh, batteries. You forgot to buy batteries because... No one has used this thing since, like, 1995. So, you're glass crashing. Oh, it's the Shambling Undead. Ugh. You got your light. So you go and you bop a few of them. Pow, pow. But it's not going to last. There's too many. Your stamina won't hold out to bop them all. What are you going to do? Well, fortunately for you, you remembered that you have more than just a jacket. You have, within said jacket... Your <laughs> freaking Samurai Edge freaking M9 for your stars training that you totally did. So you freaking put it into, you lock back around, you take off the safety and die, zombies. Pew, pew, pew. But unfortunately, you run out of ammo. You drop out that mag. What are you going to do? Well, you reach in your jacket once more and off to the side, you grab another magazine. You're back in the action. But instead of pop, 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 killing zombies, it's more of a because you have to abide by the uh, the rules of the time. <laughs> the original PlayStation. That's okay. We got a uh, decocker there. So, what are we talking about? Well, you know, well outside of this being the only occasion where you'd really say your sidearm is to get to your primary, which in this case is to get to the nearest gun shop and find yourself a boomstick to get through the hordes more easily. Well, ammo supplies last. So, yes, today we are reviewing, as you may have noticed, the East A Japanese holsters. These are leather holsters made in Tokyo. Yeah, headquartered up in Tokyo. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about these for a while. I picked it up and uh, kind of like goofed around for it with a while. And since it's hot as balls, we're gonna go ahead and pop this free. And yeah, we got a fancy leather holster. So let me load this guy back up real quick. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that at all. There we go. So, <laughs> don't mind the fancy samurai edge. I figured I'd have to show it off at some point. So, yeah. Basically, East A is a company that has supposedly been around for a while. And uh, sometimes you get bored. Sometimes you got to go look up old school dirty cop holsters because you want to film some silly stuff with your friends. Pending. And in those holster searches, you find the East Day Company. They make authentic Japanese leather holsters. And you got the crossbody style. And it is pretty cool. So right off the bat, it is authentic leather. Yep, as authentic as it comes. It's got that classic manly smell. So um, you might be asking yourself right off the bat, let's get to the bottom line up front. Do you need this holster? Is it useful? And uh, you, you really don't need it. It's, um, I mean, honestly, I'm not sure why anyone in the uh, great year of 2024 would uh, go out of the way to get this holster over, like, say, um, the Enigma from freaking Filster or something like that. But some people just want to wear one under their jacket. I mean, you could do that with uh, an inside the waistband or Enigma holster or anything else, but some people really want to just rock the classic leather. I don't know, maybe they're on the third divorce and they drink a lot and they call themselves detective even though they haven't had a practicing license in the last uh, three years. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a cool little holster, the M9 version. This is particularly the model 281. And the 281 model comes in black and it comes in brown. And it's designed for the M, is it M92F, classic Beretta. It comes with the uh, two side magazines. You might notice right here, there is a little attachment. That attachment could also be swapped out. Well, now where's that picture? Uh, yeah, that guy. That guy right there with the very, very, um, freaking, oh, was it Madness Combat Evolved cross phase going on. It, uh, comes with a few parts. And basically, you get, or right, these guys, yeah, you get these clips. And these guys are effectively designed 
to clip onto your holster and mag pouch. There's a spot right there. And your double mag pouch over here is a spot right, uh, right down there in the middle. And you just basically clip this on, like so. And then you can loop it under your belt. Now, mind you, this at the highest setting only comes down to about here. And my belt is about down here, so I would have to adjust it. However, for me personally, I just don't like having... If it's going to be all the way down towards my belt, then I should just be using a belt holster. So, fortunately, they had the insight to make this piece of leather easily come off. And if you don't like the spare mags, or maybe you only want to carry spare mags, they come with this uh, alternative one. You basically just unscrew these, pop them off on both sides, and uh, weave in one of these guys. So you can have this hang significantly lower down past the mags and hold on to your belt so it sort of stabilizes one side of your body. And this has sort of like the gun free floating. So mounting to the belt does help, but uh, you'd have to mount it significantly lower and I want it closer up to my armpit, even though it is gonna constantly slide downwards like that, unfortunately. Pew. But that's life, c'est la vie, as they say in uh, France or whatever. So let's look at the holster a bit more. So you can just swim out of this pretty easy. I'm sure people from the uh, 40s have got better, more experience with that. So you got this um, piece of composite material, four bolted pinned in here. You've got your front strap up here. And this guy just sort of like screws in. There's nothing too crazy about it. That screws in. And you got this uh, adapter piece here. This is very thin leather because it's a concealment sort of holster. On the back, you have significantly more room to work with. And uh, that kind of just lowers the back of the gun and everything. And of course, same thing on the opposite side. So you basically have your harness portion, your, ooh, your firearm portion. It's a good thing that's a airsoft replica, but still don't like that. Uh, so <laughs> let's be honest, right off the bat, your firearm is pointing directly behind you. So anyone standing directly behind you in the event of a negligent discharge is uh, out of luck. <laughs> if it was to have a sort of incident of that nature. But as far as aesthetics, it certainly looks really, really cool. Now, let me stop you. I know a few of you are thinking, so this is an absolutely insane review we've got going on here. But if it holds an M9, the uh, beautiful Samurai Edge replica, mind you, if it can hold one of these, then what's to stop it from holding, say, a CZ-75? And uh, the answer is not much. A CZ-75 will also fit very, very nicely in here. However, comma pause for effect, the hammer does get caught up on the thumb clasp. So to alleviate that, you would just set it that way, lock on the safety, and put it back in. And now it'll sit over the hammer, which has the benefit of meaning your CZ-75 won't be able to hammer into the, uh, the pin and discharge, discharge the round. It's, it's, a bit, it's a bit shorter barreled, so it doesn't poke out as much from the back. And uh, yeah, so all you gotta do is thumb latch, draw, safety off, and you're ready to go uh, loud. Pow, 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 pow. So, neat feature. I'm gonna go ahead and... Yeah. So, the thumb brake and everything is pretty smartly designed, as you can see here. It is a... It's got a nice little tack thing going on here. This gives it lots of stability, so it does thumb brake every time. And that just clips in there. So all you gotta do is just reach in here and just, it's that easy. Doesn't take a lot of force either, so. Easy system, smells like leather. It's very well made in there. And you got your little, uh, so let me, let me just pop these mags out real quick. So this just holds two mags. As you can see, there's some room to work with for the M9 mags I got in there anyway. There's room to work with. And uh, yeah, basically you can do longer or shorter mags your preference. So let me take this off one more time. So you can adjust it to any height. You can have it set up to the belt if you really want. When you take the mags and gun out, it is incredibly lightweight. It is all leather. Authentic leather. The good stuff. So you got your mag pouches here. You got the 
little holes up on the side for ventilation and craftsmanship and all that. And uh, yeah, you do got these uh, little separating pins in here. That helps keep the... Uh, yeah, the leather separate so your mags fit nice and secure. And two bits here so you can either have longer mags or shorter mags effectively secured in your holster. And there's the little clip for the uh, belt strap if you so choose to use one. But ultimately it is actually very, very pretty. This is some beautiful craftsmanship. And I already managed to ding it up because uh, I used it like a fool instead of keeping it forever safe away from society where it'll never be seen or appreciated. Oh yeah, let's check this out. Automatic M92F. And then you think you get your East A, the East part being in Japanese and the A being in English, number 281. So they do make holsters for just about everything. We'll be looking through that in a bit. So I can tell you it's a bit of an older company because if you go to their website, it is a nightmare and a half. Most of the links don't work. There's no real access to the brochure or anything. And uh, oh yeah, if you look over here, so the inside of the leather is a bit darker, by the way, outside of the tanning to the outside. And this guy basically here, you just unscrew that and you can slip the adjustments as you like. Pretty easy, pretty simple, but uh, yeah. So we're just gonna throw this guy back on real quick. So all you gotta do is just swim on into that, all, all classic old school style. You take your firearm of choice, of course the M9 is a solid choice. They do make Glocks because, uh, believe it or not, the Glock did exist back then in a very early iteration. Not the, uh, not the kind of Glocks we have these days. Yeah, they had Glocks in a, they had Glocks in the first Half-Life. And, uh, the M9, they used a, uh, water gun model to create the handgun for the original Doom. Wow! It's practically history at this point, kind of crazy. So you just load up like that and you are good to go. Mag light optional. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, where's the brochure? So let's take a look at this real quick. Because like I said, their website is insane, so they do actually rely pretty heavily on their brochure. So this little piece here comes with whatever item you order. And uh, they do make Western. I mean, you do have a lot of leather. I think would actually wager that they might have started making Western style holsters and then sort of like moved on to these leather ones. So you got, uh, what is it? You got your M9, P38, and all those. These are nylon models. Which I think all these, yeah, these ones over here are all nylon. But you can do the double M9 holster if you're doing a uh, Revy freaking impression. They got a black and white photo of all the holsters they made. They get the vertical models, which is a bit more smarter designed IMO. Shoulder holster set all yeah, yeah, so shoulder holster set up. And of course the East A logo down here. Here we've got the actual leather holsters. So you've got your M9 version, 281. It's the 282 for those 1911 enthusiasts with two mags. You got your SIG P226. That seems a bit newer. USP classic Glock from the old school days. And uh, yeah, another the 92FS. Look, there's the double, the double 19 and 92FS, the yeah, double M9. I swear to you, at some point in the near future, someone, somehow, either in Japan or in the states, will probably pick up one of these to do a Revy cosplay. I'm calling it now. If, if you see it, I told you so. I told you so. So, <laughs> and of course, then you got all your single shoulder holsters, all your stuff. And you can get the parts for the leather holster system sort of separately. So you can get your double mag pouch, you can get your handgun pouches. You can just carry four mags. If you really, really wanted to, you could just carry four magazines and call it good. There's the uh, little adapter tabs. You got your belt mounted ones. You got more little wheel gun holsters. You got old Western under the shoulder holsters. And oh my God, would you believe it? They've got a whole other page over here. So if this is your jam, uh, East A has slings, holsters, 
the whole shebang, crazy nylon stuff. And uh, yeah, basically, I can't find anything on their website, which is why I'm guessing they have this brochure. They probably have to mail in order everything with a check or money order. But I was able to uh, basically find this on Japanese Amazon. I was looking at different leather holsters. Top rated was these day. Looked at the uh, authentic Japanese leather. Possibly Wagyu, I don't know. But I saw that and I was like, oh, that sounds cash money. So, like I said, do you need one? Absolutely not. If you want one, definitely get one. They're cool. And uh, cozy enough, they fit under... I kind of just threw them on the floor. They fit nicely under an M85. Tighter, sportier jackets. You will very much see <laughs> a bit of printing going on. But uh, yeah, so stick to baggy jackets. If this is your jam, if this is what you absolutely have to do, can't be stopped, it's a free country. For the most part. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. It, um, and ultimately, it might just be the key to happiness you've been searching for this whole time. Probably not, but you know. It is, it's nice. It scratches the itch of wanting to carry a crazy holster and be somewhat insane on the internet. Or wherever. But uh, yeah, definitely be safe. Don't, um, having it face backwards, I would probably not do that with a real weapon. I like the downward pointing one. Facing downwards, much smarter, I am. <laughs> I might uh, find a way to rig this to make it do that or something crazy, but is it that thumb grass is cool? The Samurai Edge M9 is uh, very, very, very pretty. A nice little, what was that? Walnut, chestnut, I don't know. It's a fancy holster. And yeah, just uh, be safe and responsible. But yeah, look, look, I mean, especially with the black shirt, the, the tan leather just absolutely pops if you want to you wanna be cool. But that's ultimately the whole review. Do you need one? No. Should you buy one? Probably not. Is your money better invested elsewhere? I mean, probably, but if you have a little bit of extra cash and you want something to scratch that itch and to just sort of goof around, it's not a bad choice at all. So that's all I have for you guys today. So if you do have one and the uh, zombie apocalypse happens and suddenly everyone's back in like the 1990s for some reason and the zombies are a bit more detailed than PlayStation 1 graphics, then I would hope that you can get safely to the nearest vehicle with your shotgun and or grenade launcher. And I hope you know how to drive manual, which fortunately it's really easy. It's a little bonus this video I'm gonna teach you. All you do is be... Come on. Yeah. You got fourth gear, fifth gear, and that's it. And then you don't go to the restricted gear. The whole engine just like gunks up and explodes, but not really. Just spins against itself. It's not that bad, but your, your mechanic will hate you. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you have any crazy questions or comments about these holsters, feel free to let me know. As far as I know, they are predominantly really just in Japan. I haven't seen anyone like trying to export them or sell them stateside or anything, but I swear people are going to be using them for some pretty crazy cosplays. And you can also just run around your house if you know you're bored free country. <laughs> so that's like I got for you guys. Cheers. Stay chivalrous. Yes, it does smell like leather. There is, no, there is no smell-o-vision. Unless you're watching this video way into the future and there is smell-o-vision, then uh, if you ever smelled leather before, guess what it smells like? Yeah. Yeah, leather. Crazy, right? Yep, so that's all I got. It is cozy. Um, I wish... Those little belt clips, though, were a little bit longer. I think if I could like clip something in and use like an elastic shot cord or something down to the belt, it would prevent all of this from going on, and I could have a, uh, I could keep it from rolling around all over the place. And look, look how far back it goes if you let it. I can't make it much tighter in the front. Well, I mean, I could, but it's gonna like get up under the armpit, and I'm gonna go, ah, it's gotta have a little bit of a little bit of sag, you know. Oh yeah, it looks good. So cheers everyone, stay chill for us, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video the next time I have free time. So, uh, 
2025? Maybe not. I'll be before then. But cheers, everyone. Take care. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, yeah, appreciate you wasting time watching this insane holster that you don't need with me. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Stay chillous. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.